<laughs> well, I'm Midge. Hi, friends. I'm Madge. And this is another Midge and Madge Mingle. Woo, 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 woo. Yes. Now, I'm having technical difficulties because my veil has been <laughs> caught in the flowers. So we're going to go ahead and, Frankie, you may not kiss the bride. Oh, dang it. And there, that's so much better. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hey, we'd like to welcome you to our bonus mingle today. Yes, we would. And if you can't guess, today's costume is Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. I know I should have a beehive, but I couldn't find my wig that was a beehive. So this is what you get. You know, and I got this new little stand here. So if you see me looking to the left, it's because I'm looking at your comments, but then I don't have to hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Yes. So we are quite excited about today's bonus mingle. Yes, we are. Because even though we're dressed for Halloween, it's a fun Thanksgiving-ish themed project. Yes. Um, we are watercoloring flowers and putting them on a cornucopia. And today we are using Xyron and Clear Snap. And we are using the Color Box inks. Yes. And we're using the Colorique. Now, first of all, we have to apologize. We have to do a retraction. Yes. Big disclaimer, friends. Sorry. When we first used these and showed these to you guys, I was calling them Color IQ. I don't know why. I do know why. Because I see the little I and the big Q, so I'm like, oh, Q. It's the Q word. Yes. I don't know. I just got stuck in my head, and I kept saying Color IQ. I am sorry, and I apologize, because this stuff is fabulous. Yes. It is colorique, like unique. Thank you, and I'm sorry. Yes. Please forgive me. Colorique, but you need this in every color. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. fantastic. Yes. Yeah, you need the whole lineup, friends. Metal, glass, paper, everything. It works. It's the perfect. works. Yes. Love it. Okay. Yes. We've done some other videos on that, so you can see. Just fill in colorique when we say the wrong name. Correct. Yes. Um, and one thing, you guys, share this awesome... Um, video right now that we're watching, you guys are watching us live because this is one that you guys are going to want to make. It's super fun, super easy, and you have plenty of time to get it done before yes. Thanksgiving. Yes, and really, it didn't take quite as long as I thought. Right. Once you get into it, it goes quite quick, so. Yes. Yay! Yes. Okay, all right, who's ready? <clears throat> who's ready to rumble? I'm ready. Looks like we have Connie watching. Is anyone else here? Maybe I need to refresh. I'm not quite sure. Um, I just don't know if I've missed, we've missed any comments or not. If you're here, maybe leave a comment, a shout out. Oh, we question. Can, we can we always have here. our question of the day. Yes, go for it. Um, question of the day is this. Ready. Do, is, this is one of my biggest pet peeves. So I want, I want you to tell me, yes, it is, it also bothers you or no, it does not. It really bothers me that the stores jump right over Thanksgiving and go right to Christmas. I feel like sometimes Thanksgiving is the forgotten holiday for us here in the United States. Yes, it bothers me. And sometimes they jump over a lot of things to get to Christmas. That's true. That's oh, true. So many things. That's true. So for me, I don't put my tree up until the day after Thanksgiving. Unless I'm going out of town or I'm not going to actually be home for Thanksgiving then I'll start to kind of pull things out a little bit here and there. But me personally, I like to have the whole Thanksgiving experience and then let Christmas come. Yes, I agree with all of those things, except for when traveling and I won't be home on my regular put Christmas up day. Right, right. And Lynette says, you two look amazing. Hey. Well, thank you. You know what? Thanks so much. Hey, happy birthday yesterday, Lynette. Oh, yes. Happy, happy. I realize I forgot to send my message, but happy birthday yesterday. And you know, I'm... Um, Speaking of birthdays, it is Eileen Hull's birthday today. Happy, happy birthday, Eileen. We yes. are thinking about you right now. Yes, we sure are. So, mm-hmm. Oh, Lynette says after Thanksgiving dinner. And that's okay. That is. That's perfect. I, like I love that. 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 That's great. I just I just feel bad <clears throat> that it's like the forgotten holiday because I love to get together. Now, do I love making the meal? Do I love the mess that it makes at the house? No, I don't. But I really do love getting together and um and all that jazz but yeah so that's my little soapbox today so yes or no does it bother you that's the 
question. All right. Okay. Super D duperty. Okay. Okay. So you can see we have all this fun flowery goodness in front of us. Correct. And we're going to show you how we made the flowers and then what we're going to do with them. Correct. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So we're going to just go over really fast. We, we aren't going to make an actual new piece of this today, but we wanted to go over with the creative station. The fact that you can create your own foam squares, adhesive foam squares. Correct. So all we did was you have the craft foam, which you can get at the dollar store. And ours isn't very thick. Our foam is... Yeah, no. It's it's kind of thin. It's thicker than cardstock, mm -hmm. but I don't know how thick it is. Right. And you could get all different, you know... Shapes, sizes, whatever. Yes. And you just simply put your double-sided... Sorry, <clears throat> sorry. You put your permanent adhesive into your creative station. And we've told you before about how we love that it's color coded. So we can see right here that we have permanent adhesive in our machine already. Love that. Yes, they were just, very smart by doing that. Yes, and you just put it in, roll it out. And it comes out. Did you want me to make it? No, it's okay. okay. I, I think we've got plenty. Here. Okay, all right. And then you flip it over, you pull off the back, the the backing, the backing. Mm -hmm. and then you flip it over, send it back through your machine, pull it out, and there you have, you'll have the double-sided foam squares. Ta-da, ta-da. Which, one of the most fabulous things. Like, we use this for everything. We do. Especially what we love, 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 is since we just had school picture time. We like yes. to laminate even just the wallet sizes because they have a laminate that is magnet on the back. Correct. And it is perfect for grandparents or whoever likes to display your kids' pictures mm -hmm. because then they can just stick them right on their fridge and they're already done and they don't have to worry about swapping out frames. I don't have a certain neck. I'm just, look, I'm just acting like Frankenstein. Okay. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> I'm not because apparently this bride, her hair is bugging the crap out of her. I will say this, you guys. This is a money saver right here. Because foam squares, foam dots, all the foam tape, all that business is not cheap. No. It's not cheap. So you can get a big stack of this. Oh, like yeah. Said, it has like 20 or 25 sheets sometimes. Yes. And you guys, it's a little bit of work, but man, you can make it whatever size you want. And it's not really that much work. Hmm. Here, look. Okay. Here She's go. going to show you. I have to do she it She has now. to. Okay. She's putting it in. Let me get this pulled out. We didn't know that we were going to do it on the so. side. Huh? I was going to just say, there oh. you go. Like this? I'm hot. Mm -hmm. And I've got to put it in there. Sorry, I can't see with my hair. I might have to make you do it because I can't see. It's not. Huh? My hair is in my <laughs> Please hold. I'm just going to move this machine <laughs> right there. Let me just move these over. Hold on. Hold on for one more day. Frankenstein can see. Here, I pull this out in the back, the paper out. That's why I think. Let's pull this up and just re put it back, back in. in. And look how easy you can change the refills out. There we go. This was just tucked up under friends like this. We just needed to. Yeah, I hadn't put it all the way in, sorry, because we weren't going to originally mm -mm. do this. There we go. Okay, here we go. Sorry. So just pull it. You saw that, how quick you can change a refill. She pulled it out, she dropped it in, it's ready to go. Yep. And there you are, ma'am. Put it in. Put it in. Let it catch and go and for the gold. Paint that little handle. And then voila. And then it has the little slice blade, just like your paper trimmer, to trim it off on the back. So, and you guys, this this is what Midge was talking about when she said take that film off. Mm -hmm. Just take this piece off here. Okay. And turn it over and run it back through your machine, and you have the fabulous double-sided come out like this adhesive foam squares that we're going to use today. So we are. Okay, that's perfect. For Love you. that. Okay, I'm just going to set this to the side. Here, I can move this back out of your way, so you can move it over All here. All right. And um, Janine says you guys look awesome. Hey, thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to just get this out of the way. Sorry, it's crumpling in the microphone. I apologize. My hair is caught in my bolt in my neck now we're ready okay. we are so, ready no you guys um we cut all of our our flowers um we pre-cut all of these we used our cricket mm -hmm. for this and we just went in and we found um an awesome cre uh project that was basically one of those projects that you can just create right 
from the Cricut mm -hmm. project now. So we did that, but we took it and we changed it up a bit. We just, we knew that we wanted these we flowers. We just wanted a bunch of flowers. So that's what we did and then we created this fun thing. Okay, so, so we cut them all out on just regular cardstock card even. Just keep that in mind. Regular cardstock will work. You do not need the watercolor paper for no. this project. No, you do not. Okay, do you want to show what you did? Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna push mine off just to here a little bit. Okay. okay. So I hope that you guys all can see. So I just took my flower here. Let me get my paintbrush and my ink. So I just have this little guy right here. This call this one's carrot, and this is um, a dye one of the dye inks that they have. And what I did is I ink up my brush and get it nice and orange. Okay, nice and orange. My brush was not wet. Okay, my brush isn't wet. And I put there, and then I'm just going to squirt my flower down with some water, okay? And then I just take my my brush, and I'm just going to watercolor, move it around. And then I like to pick it up and move it to another spot, only because if you don't, um, it's going to dry, and you're not gonna, you're going to have a hard time getting it off your mask. So you just want to pick it up and move it to a different spot. But I'm just going to show you, ta-da! And it is very wet, mm -hmm. okay? But they do dry very quickly. I just laid mine out on some wax paper for them to dry. That's perfect. But you could That's do anything idea. that you anything that you want to do. And there, I mean, you guys, that was fast. I didn't. It didn't take me a long time. I didn't have to ruin my ink pad by getting it wet. Remember. My brush was dry when I did it on my ink pad. Squirted it with water, bada bing, bada bing. Okay, that's All what right. I did. I did that last time, but I found a new way this time that I liked. Yes. So I am I'm going, going to. I'm getting a paper towel. Okay, I'm going to paint this flower. Oh, I should say ink watercolor. And to get a reddish brown color, what I did was I just took my ink pad and. Oh, First, I have to tell you, these are fabulous finds, you guys. These no mess mats are from the dollar store, okay? And they are fabulous, and they work great for this. So I just, I'm gonna stamp all over my no mess pad with some of, this is the poppy, actually. Ooh, that's a very fun that's one color. of my favorites. And then I have mud pie, and I'm just gonna do a few stamps right over the top of my red to get a little bit of brown in there. Perfect. Then I took my flower and just gave my flower one quick spritz. And then I did one spritz into my ink. Took my brush and I just mix the two ink colors and the water. Ooh, and I'm loving that. Throw it on and it's so fast. Ooh, and that's such a pretty color. That made beautiful color. That beautiful burnt red. Mm -hmm. And then here's my flower. And I'm not like Madge. I don't move mine. I like to flip mine in the same spot because it kind of absorbs it. So I just flipped it over, touched up the bat because it did seep through a little bit. And if you need to, you can add more water on your flower or in your little ink pile. And then I would just flop it down on some wax paper to dry. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That I mean, easy. You no, know, I should have got you a, a. It's okay. I'll get you one right here. And then also, another thing that I did because we wanted to get some other colors in there. Madge did it for her greenish flower, and I did it on these ones, the colorique guys. You can do the same thing with the colorique. Thank you, but you have to be. It does not take very much. We've stressed this before with colorique. Yes. The, the the color is so, so rich and so thick. You do not need very much. I'm going to stress that right at the very beginning. So, <laughs> just kidding. So, I made a fun, like, yellowish color. And I like, when I make colors, sometimes I put them in little containers and put a lid on. But first, I made a brown. And how I did that was I used um, a few drops of poppy and then one teeny tiny drop of moss landing and one even teenier drop of the black diamond and mix that together and that was kind of a brown color. She is a color chemist. Then she is. 
I got a new container and squirted in some of the honeybee do, 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 and just barely dipped my brush in the brown that I created and mix it into the honeybee and got this fun, more mustardy color. And I'll show you that you can do the same thing. So this is just, this is all colorique. It's just the color I blended. And I just mentioned how I did that. Get a new flower, same exact technique. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Then I just get a little dab or two of the colorique, spray it with some water. Nice. And brush onto my flower. Beautiful. And a little teeny bit goes a long way. Yeah, ways. I don't know how if you guys can see this very good, but I just, can you see? It's going to run because I'm painting, but. And then there's that. And same exact thing. I'm just going to flip it over, paint the back. And you can add as much or as little water as you want to give it a more watercolor effect or a more solid color. It's just all up to you. And Debbie said, hello, ladies. Hey, Debbie. Hey. And there you have another fun flower that we would just flop down onto some wax paper and let it dry. And the, neither one of these take very long at all to dry. I no. want to say I painted quite a bit, and all of mine, I would say, were dry within a half an hour. Well, and, and for me, by the time I got done doing all of them, I had I laid them all out, and by the time I got done doing, you know, every color, I came back to my orange because that was the first ones I started, and those were dry so I could actually start rolling and forming mm -hmm. my flowers. So if you do that, that's another another great tip. Um, okay, so now after they're dry, after they're dry, um, we, look how big this flower is, you guys. This is ginormous, okay? See this? So this it's dry, we, you did that step, either the midges step or you did the one that I showed you. Um, Either way, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take, now this is this uh, spiral flower, and I'm sure you guys have done this before, but what I like to do is I'm taking, um, taking one of our squares, our flower squares, and I'm just cutting it a little bit bigger, and I'm already just going to place it right here so it's ready to go, okay? So you can go through and you can do all of that if you want to first, or you can wait and do it as you, as you go. Now, some people have special little tools. Some people like tweezers. Midge is a tweezer gal. I love my tweezers. I, I like my fingernails, and so I'm just going to roll with my nails. And so basically all you do is you just take it and start rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And you just keep rolling. Okay? And try to just keep the bottom lined up if you can. They roll up very quick and easy. Um, another tip, if you don't want to wait till they're 100% dry, if they still are a tiny bit damp, you can form your flower a little easier. But if it's too wet, um, your flower will rip and your foam square will not adhere. So just, just know that. We didn't have any problem waiting until we were dry, though. No, no. We did not. And I'm just going to keep rolling. You can keep singing your rolling song. That's beautiful. <laughs> Well, you know, I was going to go down to Provo and try out for American Idol this year. <laughs> but, you know, I thought, no. You know what? No. I am dedicated to Midge and Madge Mingle. I am not. I am not going to be the next American Idol. I don't want to spend the time it would take to go through the whole process and win when I'm, when I mean, I'm dedicated to this. We all, you know what? We all know. Oh, that's I, great. I just, just saying. I, I, can't, I can't abandon the Mingle. All right, fine. Nope. I'd be one of those ones that you guys would want to watch just to see what they had to say. They're my favorites. They are. Okay, so now here we go, and I'm just gonna fold down the corners and fold, um, form my flower. And this one, I got my square just a little bit big, but in this project, you will not see it, so it's okay. Okay, and you guys, look how good that looks. Perfect. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Now, I'm sure you're wondering. I'm wondering. You are? <laughs> when we're going to start the cornucopia. Who's wondering that by the raise of hands? 
Well, I think that they needed to know how to do the flowers. I know, so I know. That was a very important part of this. We will say also, we did hook all of our flowers together using the foam scores that we created, but you could also, like for these flat ones per se. Yes. We use, you can use your tape gun or your mega runner from Zyron and just put a few little things in the middle. I like to do a couple just because I like mine to stay. And then And, the, and you can see that the Mega Runner holds just as well. And you can form this however you want to give it some more dimension. Um, the only difference is the foam squares does give just each layer just that little bit extra lift. Mm -hmm. but, but really it's quite close to the same thing. So it just depends if you want to cut foam squares or if you want to just use your handy dandy tape runner or Mega Runner. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So now, you guys, we have our cornucopia. Hornicopia here. Ta-da! I think that they were also called Horn of Plenty or something like that. It's been really bothering me and I was going to look it up so someone can let us know. Are they Horn of Plenty? They're called something else too. It's bothering her. It is. Ever I... since elementary school, they called them something else and I can't remember. What's this? Ooh. What's that? When they blow the horn. A conch shell? I don't know. Usually something like that too. Is... I don't know. All I know is you can get this cornucopia or something like this. Really anywhere. I believe Walmart has them, Michael's has them, Hobby Lobby, any of your craft stores, and they're not very expensive. Correct. Okay. Oh, ta-da. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. She yep. doesn't like to share. I don't, but I'm sharing today because sharing is so many times caring. Hi, Debbie. And this was not a die. We, again, we cut this um, from a Make It Now project in Cricut. We just are making something different. We just wanted all the flowers that came with the project. Correct. Um, if this is something that you want and you do have a cricket and you do want to go look for it, if you just look under fall projects, mm -hmm. you will see, um, it's just a, called a fall wreath and you'll see, you'll see all of the flowers and we did not do anything different. We cut them all because we didn't know how many we were going to need or which flowers we were going to like. Mm -hmm. And then we went through and then just pulled out the ones that we wanted. And then we have a plethora. I was going to say. Of other flowers, uh -huh. um, maybe for a different You could project. never have too many flowers. That's why we just cut them all. Yes. Came up. Okay, so next, to keep this simple and easy, I just cut strips out of our foam, mm -hmm. and I peeled off the back, and then I just kind of took it and wrapped it around the outside here, okay? And again, we use, the, it's the permanent adhesive in the creative station. Just Perfect. Yes, thank you. Sure. Perfect. So... Because this is easy like this, look, I'm just going to pull this up and I'm just going to pull all of these off. Ta -da, ta -da. And then just push it down where it might have come up when I pull. Okay, and you can tell it's very sticky. It's wanting to come off on my fingernails. Ta -da, ta -da. Okay, so we're only going to do the outside of the, the rim, I guess is what you would call it, because I think it would be super cute to fill it with, um, we thought, corn husks or some cute little pumpkins, yes. something like that, just to fill that. So, the options. Or if you this. wanted to, you could stick a foam ball or something in here and work around and fill it so yes. that it looked like they were coming out of the cornucopia, but whatever suits your fancy is just great. Yes. Okay, so we're going to put this bad boy together. And while we are doing that, um, if you guys have any questions, please ask. Yes. Please, please ask why we're doing that because I'm going to hold and we are going to just go to town. Go for the gold, Mitch. No, I told you I wouldn't do it for you, but I will help you. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I, my mom is the floral lady and I don't have that in me. So I have a hard time doing wreaths and, and any floral projects. I can do threes and fives, but this oh, makes stars. my mind a little bit googly. And we will form these a little bit more once we get them all on there. I just have to get an idea of what it's going to do. So let, I want to start with that one on the edge. Perfect. Okay. Then we have all of these other, and she didn't show you all of them, but we, these cut quite a variety. 
And the colors are so great that we were able to come up with with the dye ink pads from Claire Snow. Yes. And the, again, they were the color box. These ones, the premium dye, dye ink, ink pads. Ink pads. Yes. And they come in a big, a big <clears throat> slew of colors. They do. Um, Poppy is one of our favorites. Um, Poppy was used for both of these, actually. Yep. This is Poppy and Mud Pie, mm -hmm. right? And then um, Pumpkin. And then, yep. And there's all different, so you can see that there's this quite... This one's just, this one is just Mud Pie, and it is very cream. And you could make them as bright or as washed as you want, like we said, because we did do the watercolor yes. technique. Yes. Okay. So... Let's do this. Let's put this bad boy together. This is Moss Landing Colorique, by the way, not any. Correct. Okay, okay. let's do this, friend. Let's do this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I like how you keep saying that. And you're trying to trick me. I'm not going to do it for you. Because this is for her table. It is for my table. I love it. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also, another fun thing. I know a lot of people have um, the tradition where you go around the table and say what you're thankful for. Um, but this could also be sometimes um, you could put the little note of what you're thankful for inside. Yes. I know some people have traditions where they pull things out and read, but there are a lot of fun things that you could do with this festive little decoration piece. And you guys, the good thing is is that, this, that it is foam, so it's your, you have a little bit more flexibility on what it is exactly that you're going for, the look that you're going for. And also, if you, we just did the rim because it would be faster that way, but also we can add more squares on the backs of these flowers to do like the outer edges or wherever we need to fill in the space. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct, correct. Uh, See, you're doing great. I love that. Oh, uh-huh. No, not orange. Not that one. Green? No. Cream. Um, you need bigger a little cream. bit bigger one. Yeah, that's bigger great. Bigger cream next to the cream? No. No. Mm-mm. Oh. You don't have very many spikies, huh? No. You could do bright orange. Okay. Or bright red orange. again. Mm -hmm. Let's do bright orange. Let's do bright orange. Okay. And you can see how Lots. it's coming along. It's super fun. Okay. Love that. Togetherness, together again. And I'm going to put a little green in here on this one. Perfect. Okay, um, okay, help me just fill in. Let's just do this. Let's just okay, go for the go gold. for the gold. Mm, let's put, yeah, put him wherever you want. I don't like him there. I'm going to put it up there and then you're going to fill in around it. Okay. For some reason, this one has a square on the back too because I stuck it there on accident. That's why. That's okay. Okay. All right, and you guys, while we're doing this, does anybody have any questions? Questions, questions? <clears throat> now, again, we want you to know there are so many different things you can do with these inks. Um, the, the premium dye inks, which you've seen us use lots of times before, but we really do love watercoloring with these, um, if, you, if you call it that. That's, what, that's mm -hmm. what we call it. And and we showed you the two different ways that you can do that. I'm sure there are lots of other ways. And it's also good for after you colored. Let's see, do I have a good color for this? Well, uh, maybe not. But after you have watercolored your flowers, if you wanted a darker edge around them, you could just go around and ink the edges, and that would really highlight the petals a little bit more. And the color ink, guys, um, if you go back, you can see they have lots of really good videos on different things to do with the color ink. Mm -hmm. But Madge has done some of her mixed media bottles with this. It covers glass really well. Yes. Um, we have done some gift bags. Mm -hmm. With pa it works on paper. We've d used it on wood. Um, give it a shot. But like we said, it does not take very much at all. So just start with a drop or two, and that's all you need. And also making custom colors is super fun. Just get those little teeny tiny um, containers, airtight containers, and usually the dollar store is a great place for that as well. And you can save the colors that you make. So it's worked out really great for us. Hi, Matiana. Mm hmm. Is that too big to go right there? Nope. That guy? Nope, it is not. And then I'm thinking, do I go big up here? No. Not right in the middle, but you can slide it closer to that one. Okay. 
This is why I have her friends. And again, so today we are doing, we did some flowers and greenery mm -hmm. and we used the premium dye inks from Claire Snap Color Box for the water coloring. And we also did some with the Colorique and we apologize again for calling it the wrong name on our other one. I just did it the way it looked like it was spelt on the bottle and I didn't pay attention, so I am sorry. Colorique, super fabulous. Give them a try. And metals also. Mm -hmm. So many different ways to use it. Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Computer is talking to us. Mitsiana says that she is loving the hair. Hi, Sherry. And so Madge right now is just placing, we made some double-sided foam tape using our Creative Station and just some dollar store foam and the permanent adhesive in our Creative Station. And we lined the rim of the cornucopia with the double-sided tape. And Madge is just putting the flowers that we put together onto the cornucopia with the double-sided tape. And we used our Xyron Mega Runner, you could use your tape runner or your foam squares to roll up and put the flowers together. Look how good it's looking. Okay, I need to put another leaf, but you tell me, you fill in, help me fill in. So then we can be all but, all but done. Do you want me to move this little guy? I think he'll come off. I don't know, for sure. Maybe move one of these? I think we need, I like that big red, I like that big red one. Okay. Let's move that. Here. Or, where do you think? There? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's saying yes. Yep. She's saying yes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. 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 Do you need a little foam square? I think I, I do. can cut you one. I think I do. Oh. I'm just going to do this right here. Okay. And that's what's there. also great about making your own adhesive foam squares is you can cut this stuff to any size that you need. Yes. So you saw Mad just made a giant strip to wrap around the cornucopia. Um, we did, where is it, like, I don't know if you can see this little flower, but when we put this one together, this little teeny tiny flower has a little piece underneath it. So it's great to be able to customize your sizes as well. Another benefit of making your own with the Creative Station. Correct. I just piggybacked that one, but that one's fallen off a little bit, so I need. That's yeah. just fine. Look at you go. Well, I probably should take off both sides. It's all fine mm -hmm. and dandy. There we go. And if anyone has any questions on the um, Creative Station or tape runners or the dye inks or the color ink, someone just feel free to let us know. We'll always try to get, if we don't know, we will find the answer for you. Correct. Correct, correct. Sorry, I'm just going through and just filling in with a little bit of greens here. I might just cut this right here like this. Super. And, and then I think you can show them your okay. masterpiece. Okay, my masterpiece. And again, if you wanted to, you could, we are going to fill these with either little pumpkins or some corn husks or something fun like that. But you could put a foam ball in the front of your cornucopia so that it looks like all the flowers are just full and coming out. And you'll see what I mean when she flips this around in just one second. Or you can do what we're doing and fill it with something else after you um, decorate it with the flowers. So many different options, but Madge is working her little floral I masterpiece. Like you just need one more green. I don't know where though. I liked it over there better. Like down here, down here. Do down. it down. Down lower. No, where you just were. Like mm -hmm. that there? That's great. Okay, perfect. And I have a little bit of foam tape right here that I can just stick it to, so that's that's even okay. better. So you guys, we okay. want to encourage you to go out and try. Um, if you've never used the inks for the water coloring before, it's lots of fun, and it comes in all the colors you would need. And then the color ink, go out and try some new projects with this stuff, guys, because it's it works on about every surface. It sure does. It that sure, we have found so far. It sure does. Okay, this is bugging me. I just have to do one other thing, and I'll turn it around. One. You no. Know, I'm so sorry. It's just, just bugging just, me just a tiny really? bit. Really? I don't know why it's bugging me. She's got to stick this one piece in there, and then she'll flip it around. Okay. Yay, it's so cute. I need to see. I want it to... to pop up here, but since there is a the little delay. 
But can you see how fun and easy this was? And I find watercoloring very relaxing. Yes. That, and, yes. And fun because you can mix colors. Like I said, I mixed the reds and browns together to make this fun color, but you can make any color that you need. Yeah. So, love that. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Noreen. Hello, hello. I may go back through and add a couple more um, leaves here and there. I don't know. Maybe we just wanted you flowers. to get. We just wanted you to get the general idea of different possibilities when you use these products together. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got to have a sippy. Do you want a sippy? It's okay. I'm about. I'm about made it. So, <clears throat> run down <clears throat> one more time of exactly everything that we did. <clears throat> we got foam from the dollar store. Correct. We put the permanent adhesive in our creative station. You run the foam through your creative station. You take off the clear, the clear backing. The clear backing. Flip your foam over, send it back through your machine, and voila, you have double-sided foam that you can cut into squares or whatever size you need. Correct. Then on the Cricut, we cut out some flowers. Yes. That we then watercolored using the color box premium dye ink yep. pads. Correct. And the color ink, which does not take very much. You can custom your own colors, put them in airtight containers and save them, but it does not take very much. A little goes a longer, long way. longer than a long <laughs> way. I can't stress that enough. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yes. then after flowers were watercolored, mm -hmm. we um, adhered the flower, you either rolled the flowers. Correct. Or stacked the flowers. And we adhered some with the tape runner or the mega runner. And then the others we did with our custom foam squares. Correct. Then we cut strips from our adhesive foam, lined the cornucopia, the rim of it. Yes. And just started adhering the flowers that we had made. And we made a beautiful flower arrangement. Yes. Yes, Noreen, you can do this. Yes. Yes, you can. This is, you guys, and this, what I love about both of these products here that we used is there are so many different ways that you can use these. And like Midge said, watercoloring is very relaxing. So a suggestion would be if you have watercolor paper, now mind you, we did not use watercolor paper. We used regular cardstock. Yes. But if you used watercolor paper and you did this before dyeing or cutting out, you could probably go through and just watercolor some paper and set it to the side. And then whenever you want to pull something out, um, whether you're using your Cricut or another die cutting machine, then you already have it ready to go and mm -hmm. you already have your custom colors already done and dry. So. Yes, we have done it that way as well. Right. Hi, Jay. Hey, Jay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so did that work just I think that's fabulous. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, um, we will maybe, I don't know, post a link. Yes. For the creative station. Mm -hmm. We would love for you to go over to the color box, the Clear Snap Facebook page. Um, tell oh, them hello and that we sent yes, you. Because I think we have something that we want to do, don't we? Yep. We're going to do a dun, da, 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 a little giveaway. Because we haven't done one for a little while and we don't know what's happened. So we are going to give away a couple of the ink pads. The these little premium dye mini ink pads. And um, we will, okay. um, we will, how should we pick a winner? What should we do? We would love for you to go to the ClearSnap Facebook page. We would love for you to go to the Xyron Facebook page. Yep. Um, you can also check out their blogs. Um, just let them know that we sent you. And then for our contest, we will, Send some ink pads to the person who, go. <laughs> you need to, to, so to enter to win, is that what you're asking yes. me what they need to yes. do? Mm -hmm. what, what you need to do is you need to go and like both of their pages on Facebook, let them know that Midge and Madge sent you. Mm -hmm. And then we would love it if you would also share this video yes. and comment in our comments that you shared and that you went over and liked both pages and you'll be entered to win. Perfect, and we will announce the winner next Monday. On Monday, yep, yep, correct. So we will send you some of the ink pads yep. if you do those things. One more time. Correct. One more time. To be entered to win the ink pads, you need to like Zyron on Facebook, 
and comment that Midge and Madge sent you. And like Clear Snap on Facebook and let them know Midge and Madge sent you. Share this video and then comment on, on this video letting us know that you shared and you um, went to their pages and liked. You may already have liked them. If you did, that is awesome. Just send them a quick shout out and let them know that you saw this awesome technique. And yeah, perfect. So, and we will announce the big winner on Monday. Yes. And <laughs> Sherry says she is really sad. She's just letting us know she finished the bag of chocolate cinnamon bears that we sent out for her. And oh, it was a sad day. <laughs> it was a sad day. Dang it. I am sorry. Maybe we will see you in Park City next year. Yes, maybe we will. Okay, so there. So that was it, you guys. This is one of my favorites. I am not going to lie. I love this very much, and we're going to have to make another one. So it's a good thing we made more flowers. Ah! No, just kidding. <laughs> we can do it. We have the power. Yes. Okay, yes. so that was it for our bonus mingle. Yes, sharing is caring. It sure is, Mitziana. <laughs> it sure is, yes. And we had fun doing the bonus mingle, and who knows what we'll be dressed up as. On Monday. On Monday. I mean, I don't even know for sure. So many ideas. So many <laughs> rolling around in our minds. Okay, I'm going yes, to. We did, we got to take a picture though. Oh, well, okay. I mean, I know you, it's okay. You just you can take off your mic. Okay. okay. And I mean, you do this, mm -hmm. and I don't think Frankenstein smiles. No. So I'm just going to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you may see a selfie pic a, a little bit later on our Instagram page because we like to do those also. Yes. So I mean, sure you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. We will see you on Monday. I'm gonna yeah. sneak out. Thanks oh, so much, friends. No, you're good. Frankie. You're good. Thanks so much for joining us, and we can't wait to see you on Monday. 